Perineal tendon subluxation. Two perineal tendons run on the outside of the ankle just behind the fibula. The two tendons lie behind the fibula in a groove. These two perineal tendons are the perineus brevis tendon, which is closer to the fibula, and the perineus longus, which lies posteriorly. The superior and inferior perineal retinacula keep the perineal tendons in position. The superior retinaculum is more important. Patient with perineal tendon subluxation or dislocation usually describe pain in the outer part of the ankle or just behind the fibula. Retromalleolar swelling with pain and giving away of the ankle and the feeling of clicks as the patient moves the ankle should alert the clinician to the possibility of perineal tendon subluxation. The patient may feel a pop and click on the outer side of the ankle. Testing for perineal tendon subluxation is usually done with dorsiflexion and the aversion of the foot against resistance. The ankle may feel as if it is unstable and sometimes the patient will be able to demonstrate the subluxation of the tendons. The perineal tendons are held in their position behind the fibula predominantly by the superior perineal retinaculum. Perineal tendon subluxation usually occurs more in younger individuals. It is usually a sports-related injury such as soccer and skiing and the injury can be missed. The condition can be acute, chronic and recurrent. It may be associated with a shallow fibular groove ruptures or a weak superior perineal retinaculum and the retinaculum can be peeled off of a piece of bone from the fibula due to the injury. X-rays may show an avulsion fracture of the fibula called a rim fracture. Flex sign is an indication for perineal tendon subluxation. MRI or ultrasound is very helpful in visualizing the condition of the perineal tendons and assessing position of the tendons, assessing the superior perineal retinaculum, and if the tendons are subluxed or not, and if the tendon has associated tears or not. The condition may be associated with a longitudinal tear of the perineus pravis tendon, so the tendon is close to the fibula, and as it goes outside the groove, it hits the fibula as it subluxes, causing a tear of the tendon. Treatment acute cast or immobilization results are average. Surgery consists of repair of the superior perineal retinaculum, especially if there is a rim fracture or if the condition is associated with other conditions such as calcaneal fractures. You can do the repair of the retinaculum in addition to the possibility of deepening the fibular groove. If the condition is chronic and recurrent and painful, you will do soft tissue procedure to reconstruct the superior perineal retinaculum. You may want to do a deepening of a shallow groove in addition to a repair of the longitudinal tear of the perineus pravis if it is present by suturing the tendon side to side. Here you can see example of suturing the perineus pravis longitudinal tear and here you can see example of reconstruction of the superior perineal retinaculum. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.